Okay, so we've had quite a few questions lately on how double slips work on collectors. This is an example of so five and a one. This is the double slip that goes over top of the female of the existing slip joint on the collector. The primary tube, let's just say this is a primary tube coming down from the flange, would slide into the female of the existing collector and this double slip would get welded on right there. That would allow it to come apart later on. You would want to probably weld it off from the collector. If you do that, you're going to want a centering sleeve in there to stop it from going to one side or the other. Otherwise, you won't get it on. So let's just say that this goes on and it's welded around here. This stays as a floating slip joint. You can see how that would greatly extend the header life if, say, three of the tubes were anchored and two of them were floaters or two were anchored and three were floaters. It would greatly enhance the life of the collector and the entire header. As an example, these two are going out to a customer and they already have the three inch V-band flanges welded on, but it comes with a clamp and the mating flange for him to uh, fabricate from there on. A majority of our collectors come out, to, come out of here with a, like a T3 or T4 flange welded onto a tight elbow and it brings together an assembly like this. They really work well.